Children's Hospital Colorado, in its affiliation with the University of Colorado School of Medicine, is one of the best pediatric institutions in the country. And it's getting better every day. I'm Austin, an award-winning junior board writer. I am Morgan, and I'm a sports fanatic. I'm Sophie, I'm a cancer survivor and a volunteer. I'm Nate, and I'm going to be the next Steven Spielberg. I'm Emily, a cancer survivor and a straight-A student. And I am. And I am. I am. I am. I am. Children's Hospital, Colorado. I remember the first time you went down to the hospital, I had to stay at home with my dad. And I was really worried if my brother was going to be OK. My condition was hemolytic uremic syndrome. My first memory was when I had my first dialysis. When I was in first grade, I came here three days a week and only made Tuesday and Thursday for school. We had to drive down from Breckenridge, so our solution basically was to do dialysis at home. The scariest thing for me was not knowing if my brother was going to make it through another night and if I get to see him again. On July 19th, we got a call that there was a possible match for his kidney transplant, and they said that we needed to come down to Denver right away, and it was close to a perfect match. I went off the jump a little wrong and went sideways and then I realized it was on top of me and I couldn't get it off. My legs hurting, I'm upside down, my head's off to the side. My dad was just screaming for help and I got third degree burns in like 20 seconds. I got rushed into the emergency room. The next day I had to get a debridement surgery and I had to wait a couple weeks until I get my skin graft. Now it's just healing. The thing that surprised me was that how supportive the people were and how they explained it to you, like as simple as possible, and you understood it, and how nice they were and how much care they gave for you. In 1999, I was diagnosed with lymphoblastic lymphoma, which attacks your immune system and your lymph nodes, and I had a tumor on my neck right here um, that my mom saw when we were at a horse show. I was brought here and I had 24 months of chemotherapy and lots of pokes and spinal taps. Only thing I can remember is sitting in my mom's lap, rocking back and forth saying, I don't want to die. My nurse, Jan, would take this big teddy bear and convince me that like poking it with a needle was no different than poking me with a needle, because I was just not good with needles at all. They spent so much time here, so it really was just a warm environment for me to be treated in, and I really appreciate all they did because even though I know it's their job, it still felt selfless and it still felt like they actually cared. I've been in remission for 12 years now. I don't remember a whole lot from that day, I rode a bull, his number was 89, and I got on him and about four seconds into my ride, we hit heads and that knocked me out. And uh, then he threw me under him and stepped on my head with his two back feet. I was in a coma for 18 days and they had to put three titanium plates in my head and I was in the hospital for 50 days total. I just had three skull fractures and a brain injury and nerve damage on my eye and my arm. It's not permanent. They can do surgeries on it. It's a matter of when the nerves heal. I felt really good about getting out of the hospital because I really missed my bed and going home. But at the same time, I was kind of sad to go home because I like the people at the hospital. I'm grateful because they saved my life. It's hard for me to lift my arm and it hurt. And I told my parents, but like maybe just sprain something. So we went to the doctors and they went through some x-rays and they said, you need to pack up your stuff and go to the hospital. It was a tumor in my right arm. They said that you have osteosarcoma. I'm like, what? what's that? Because it didn't make sense to me. I was really scared. I had to go through 19 rounds of chemotherapy. I lost all of my hair, and I always felt tired, which a little five-year-old shouldn't feel. 
I spent over 200 nights at Children's Hospital. The cancer did not come back. The Anschutz Medical Campus is one of the largest biomedical research facilities in the world. Children's Hospital is really recognized nationally as one of the best children's hospitals for both care and research. There's a very hopeful atmosphere where people aren't giving up, where we believe in the human spirit and the ability to recover and heal. When that kid can return to the life that they had before this, then we've done our jobs right. And that's, that's the best thing possible. I can't imagine anything better. I've learned that you can't take anything for granted and you always need to be there for your family. I'm really grateful to Children's for giving me a second chance. To be cured means that I don't have to go through treatment anymore. I don't have to feel bad anymore. I learned that my life can change in a matter of seconds. Understand the value of each day. I don't really take things for granted. Thank you for curing me. Thank you, Children's, for helping kids like me. I am all better. And I am Children's Hospital Colorado.